Hello everyone. So in our last lecture, we uh, finished with uh, fixing some of the bugs that we had. And in this lecture, we'll be finally uh, implementing the aim offsets using the transform bone nodes in our animation blueprint. Okay. So for that, uh, let us first um, go ahead to the animation folder and open up the ABB player and over here we need to actually go to the anim graph okay yeah and from the last one over here flashlight we can actually call the trans no we can't actually call it from there like right click uh, over here and uh, type in transform Bone and you will find this one and uh, then plug in the default to the component pose and then the component pose to the head M offset and once that is done uh, click on this transform bone and over here you can actually over uh, if you go over the details panel you can actually see some controls over here and the first one is the bone to modify this one is actually like uh asks you to put the bone that you want to actually um modify or for our case we'll be using that to rotate the character so we'll be using the spine of this character and the spine that we'll be using is a spine zero one so we can actually uh, move this part of the character to the right or left okay so let's go ahead and click on spine 01 we don't actually need the translation so i will make the expose as pin to false for the translation and the scale for the rotation however we'll actually have the expose as pin because we need the rotation the rotation mode will be changing to uh, add to existing and it can rotation space can stay as a uh, component space and i will split this structure pin over here and as we have done before we'll actually take the your total and the pitch uh, the your total will be the uh, multiplied by minus one so it will be the inverse and we'll put it to your and the pitch will actually go into the role this time not the actual pitch so let us go ahead and check how that works wow so that's actually wrong so we need to inverse the pitch as well so once that is done let's go ahead and play once again and this one works fine the character repeats let's pick up the pistol now as you can see now we have our aim offset for the pistol as well so this is working just fine the next thing um, so that was actually rather easy to set up um, but right now um, I think there will be one issue over here and that is the flashlight so if I equip the flashlight, go in front. Yeah, the flashlight rotates a lot, right? It's rotating way too much. That's because we're still using the aim offset for the flash, plus we're using the uh, aim offset using the transform bone. So we don't actually need the flashlight AO anymore. We can actually directly get the equipment blend cache and put it over here and delete this. So now if we do that, play and uh, have both of this, press F and now, yeah, see, it works much better. This one works fine, just fine. So this is good. And uh, there is this bug that we have now, if I have the flashlight and I press one and this messes up like this with the hand 
So to fix this, actually, we need to go back to our third person character that we have. And what I'll do is on, over here, I'll create a new folder. I'll call this character. And I will make another one. Um, actually, it's already created. Actually, yeah. Um, I probably created this outside the video. So just create the folder, new folder data, and then enums over here. Okay. So just go ahead and create that. I'll move the character to the characters folder. And once I open the data folder, enums, I'll go right click and go to blueprints and click on the enumeration over here. And I'll call this E underscore player states and open it up and over here i'll add few of these the first one will be idle the next one will be interaction the third one will be it's true the fourth one will be flashlight that we are using and the final one i'll just name it as a rifle for now okay so now this is done i can close this and go back to my third person character over here we'll create a new variable and call this e underscore player states and make the variable type as well to player states enumeration now Open up the flashlight graph and the pixel graph over here. So, has gun using gun? We don't need the using gun anymore over here. We also don't need the flip flop. So, has gun, okay. After has gun, we will actually check if not using the pistol. If we are not using the pistol, we will actually set the player state to pistol and make it visible and if we are already using the pistol we'll go back to idle okay and make it to hidden okay and for the flashlight we will also yeah uh, we don't need actually these montages anymore for the mesh of the flashlight we also don't need to stop the montage anymore since we are done we no longer need these booleans and the flip flop so the, you can just copy this around okay control c and control v and over here the check will be if not equal to flashlight then flashlight and if not then idle is fine these two is fine also need to make the flashlight hidden on the pistol graph when I have equipped the pistol. I need to make the gun hidden when I have my flashlight equipped, right? So now this should take care of the issues that we have. Let's go ahead, take the flashlight, pick up the, uh, sorry, uh, pick up the pistol and the flashlight and press F. Press F8. Wow. Flashlight is on the hand. The animations kind of broke. Also, yeah, this one is not working properly, is because uh, I missed something. <laughs> uh, open up the ABV player over here. Locomotion. Uh, we need to go to the idle over here, and we'll no longer using be using this boolean here. Also, we need to add the player state into the event graph as well. So I'll uh, go over here, okay, get the character reference. And from here, I can call the player state enumeration and I can promote this to a variable, right? So once that this variable is exposed to the animation, I can go back over here. Uh, sorry, in the idle state, okay delete this i'll call this i'll right click over 
I'll right click over here and I'll call blend poses by e player states and there we have it now i can right click over here and get the idle state the flashlights and the pistol right so the def default will be the idle state then the idle will be the idle pistol will go to pistol and there's the flashlight also that we have made will go on, go on to the flashlight right and the enum would be our player state enum that we just exposed right now if i go back and uh, pick up the flashlight first and then the pistol sorry press f now the animation is better it's playing the proper animation now again see even when I'm below, it's playing the proper animation, which is good. Now, while walking, we have the change over here. Now, we can actually fix this but i think this video is getting longer so i'll actually like fix this part in our next lecture the uh, flashlight moving like that or the pistol moving like that while we are actually moving we'll fix that in the next one and let's go ahead and check the yeah, everything else is fine we just need to fix the i can delete this now the flashlight your part we don't no longer need that okay so uh thank you guys and i will see you in the next lecture